In Mexico, there is an old belief that has been passed on for many generations. It claims that the individual dies three deaths. The first is a death we are all familiar with, the death of the physical body. The second death comes when all the close friends and relatives of that person have also died and are no longer around to tell the stories about their loved one. And the third death happens when all the stories about that person stop circulating and their memory is completely forgotten. It is a part of our human nature to ward off this final death for as long as possible, keeping our ancestors alive in legend. Excuse me, are you Magdalena? Yes, what can I help you with? I've come a long way. I've been wondering about the story of Carmela and the prickly pear juice. I'm just roasting some right now. You want to watch? Oh, if I could, thank you. So tell me a story of Carmela. My daughter was born in Canyon during a huge snowstorm. It was at night, and it was snowing so much, we couldn't get out of the house. There was a curandera with me, and she finally came in the early hours of the morning. She was born with a veil. She was such a beautiful baby. And the curandera told me that she was going to be very blessed. And she would bring blessings to all her people. She would cultivate the traditions of the land to make sure they would not be lost forever. Our family preserves the tradition of the prickly pear syrup. As a child, Carmela said that the ancestors whispered in her ear the recipes native to this land. As she grew older, she perfected the recipes. 
and share them with her people. The curandera also said that she might inspire a great musician, but she might never live to see him. The day Carmela fell from the rocks, she had had a dream to go to the cabezón at sunrise to dance for the new day. How could I forget that day? I remember walking to the cabezón to play for the sunrise, and there she was, standing on the cliffside, dancing. As she turned, our eyes met, and our hearts felt as though they were one. And then she slipped. If only I'd been there sooner. <laughs> 